All right, so you might notice things are a little bit different. Uh, we are not at my home office, we're at my office office. And uh, for a lot of our machines here at the office, we use these CyberPower EPSs. And for the most part, they're really good. Uh, the problem is, we live in Florida, power goes out quite often. Uh, so uh, the batteries on these things die. And you hear the, the, the beep or the flat line as the batteries die. What we used to do is just go ahead and just buy a new unit, but it's actually really easy to replace the batteries. So that's what we're gonna do here today. Uh, replacing the batteries, you can use the CyberPower batteries, which will cost you between 80 and $100, or you can use the generic ones, and that's what we typically use. So uh, we're doing the 1500 AVR unit. Um, in a couple weeks, I'll be doing another one as well, which is a little bit more difficult than this one, but it's really not that bad. So first thing, Make sure you're not plugged in. All right, uh, and the power is off. From there, basically you're just gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. And it's pretty easy. Just gonna unscrew those, just put the screws in a safe place. It's probably not the right size screwdriver, but it'll work. And then the tricky part is this top panel, this front panel here just slides right down. Just pop that off to the side. And what you'll notice here is we have two different batteries. There's a battery here, and then what most people don't realize is there's actually a secondary battery right there. So that's what we're gonna be working with today. Uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is unplug the main battery. And sometimes you gotta work them a little bit. Gotta work them a lot. <laughs> Get a better angle from here. Just kind of wiggle them and pull them right off. There we go. Okay, so now that the, this this cable is off, uh, we are no longer completing the circuit, and we're going to make this a lot easier. So we're going to just pull out the battery, the bottom battery. This gun actually unplugged really fast, which is good. Uh, and something that you might wanna do in the beginning, if you haven't done this very often, I like to do this and just make a note, yellow, black, and just say this is the bottom. That way when you go to replace it, you know what to do. And then on the other side, um, what we're gonna do is there's a, a bracket uh, that we're just going to unscrew. The other guy. It's just helpful knowing which is which. And brackets almost off. So we'll set that there and just make sure you put the screws in a, in a good spot. And then this one pull right out. It's exactly the same as that one. Now I'm not going to label this one. Um, only because it's going to be very simple. And what you'll notice, we're using the generics, so I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, we've got negative here and positive there. And other than that, that looks exactly the same. Um, the only thing we need to do is pull off the prongs there. Go ahead and pull that yellow one off, which was on the black. That's ready to go. And then we'll go ahead and plop this guy right back in. Slide it in, just be careful of the, uh, the ribbon cable. As you do that, you wanna make sure that you don't hurt the, the ribbon cable, obviously, as you push this in. There we go, and you're just gonna wanna make sure the ribbon cable comes off, it's all right, it's not a big deal. Just wanna make sure that things aren't twisted and that one is definitely twisted. So. It's actually gonna be easier with the ribbon cable off and you'll be able to see a lot more actually as well. There 
go. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and put the bracket back on. I swear, I'm so much more graceful when I don't have the camera on me. And as I'm doing this, if you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. I do my best to respond to those as quickly as possible. And if you don't already subscribe to the channel, you might want to consider doing that as well as I go through this. Uh, we do a lot of things on the channel, um, not always IT related um, or geek related, but uh, in this case we are obviously. <laughs> All right, so that's there. Then we've got our bottom battery and we've got it labeled here. So yellow is on this side and the black is on that side. So what we're gonna do is slide this guy in, go ahead and get that, and then, uh, <laughs> silly me, let's actually get the new battery. Let's try that again. All right. I knew that was going way too easy. All right, so that's not a big deal. It's pretty simple. Again, this is our black. Bend that down just a little bit more. There we go. And then our yellow. And then what we're gonna wanna do is slide that yellow, part, part of that yellow cable down underneath and that'll push right back in. And then before we do the power, probably recommend go ahead and reconnect the ribbon cable. It'll only go in one way, so not a big deal. And then connect the red. Then from there, pretty simple. All we gotta do is slide that back on. Got our two bottom screws. Let's make sure it goes in there correctly. Our last screw. said this is not exactly the perfect size screw driver there. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in and see what happens. There we go. It's that simple. Uh, so now uh, what I'd recommend doing is just make sure the, the battery is fully charged and then you will be able to go ahead and use this in production. Again, like I was saying, if you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you don't already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do a lot of things on the channel uh, that a professional geek might find interesting. So hence the UPS battery uh, replacement. Uh, and uh, But we do other things as well, like going to theme parks, uh, going to uh, other types of events, as well as um, Star Wars and home automation and stuff like that as well. And the other thing I wanna make sure I say as well, make sure you dispose of these batteries appropriately as well. All right, with that, have a great day.